Kenworth says the T680 Advantage package is all about fuel economy. Truckmaker says the T680 in Advantage trim is the most aerodynamic truck they've ever produced. But Kenworth went a lot further than skin deep to optimize the fuel savings. A big chunk of the potential fuel savings comes from matching the MX-13 engine to the automated version of Eaton Fuller's new 10-speed Advantage transmission. Hi, I'm Jim Park with today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive Series. We're here at Kenworth's manufacturing plant in Chillicothe, Ohio, where they build the T680. And we're about to find out why everyone here at Kenworth is so excited about the Advantage Edition. In this video, we're going to shake down the MX-13 engine and Eaton's Advantage transmission. Together, they're responsible for more than half of the truck's fuel economy gains. The MX we have today is the multi-torque version, rated at 455 horsepower and 1,550 and 1,750 pound-feet of torque. Peak torque extends from 1,000 RPM up to 1,300, so we know it's a low RPM engine. Let's saddle up and we'll see how she does. I'm going to take off from this red light here and make a full throttle application and just hold the pedal right to the floor. That'll give us a pretty good indication of how the engine handles uh, you know, a full power request from the driver. Here we go. So, full pedal all the way to the floor, into third gear at 1600, in fifth gear, did a double shift there, came down to 1000. Drops back to 1100. My foot's still right on the pedal, by the way. That uh, shifting from 6th to 7th took us up to 1600. And uh, moderate acceleration. It's not, uh, it's not in any big hurry, so I guess that's a fuel savings uh, feature. Works pretty well. Uh, driver wouldn't think that the truck was uh, lazy or slack just uh, not accelerating quite as quickly as it could but at the end of the day why do you need to be going that fast in the first place I changed my throttle application strategy at the next turn I came to rather than push the pedal all the way to the floor I drove as if I was shifting the gears myself this time I'm gonna go a little easier on the pedal I'm not going to give it the full application just what I would call you know all the throttle I need and we'll see it shifts a little bit lower. That was 7th uh, into 8th gear at 1500. Dropped us back to 1000. Climbing a slight grade here. Merging with traffic on Route 23. So even though we're pulling up, I'm still giving it modest or moderate acceleration. And uh, she still makes the upshift at 1500. Dropping the revs back to about 1,050. And uh, now we're in ninth. Pretty fuel efficient setup. So we're just climbing through 55 at about 1125. Just coming up on 60 miles an hour here now. Tenth gear at uh, about 1175, just below 1200 RPM. The MX 13 engine really likes to go slow. But cruising at low RPM in top gear can be a challenge. You need the latitude between the RPM at your chosen cruise speed and the low end of the peak torque curve. Every time you climb a short hill, if your engine drops out of peak torque, you'll have to downshift, and that can cut into fuel efficiency. Eaton's Advantage transmission solves that problem with a half-step gear change between 9th and 10th. So now I've got the cruise set for 60 miles per hour, and we're running just shy of 1200 RPM. Again, nice comfortable cruise speed. Here, I think, is where the truck was set up to run, 62 perhaps. Uh, and that would give us about 1250 cruise speed, 12 and a quarter. Uh, we've got at least 200 RPM to play with below this engine speed for torque if we're uh, starting to pull a hill. So there's decent drivability right there. I've seen this thing drift down to as low as nine. So there's quite a bit of range there before having to make the, uh, the uh, downshift. This one, however, is set up with the, uh, the percentage of, uh, of space between the gears uh, going up through most of the transmissions, about 36, 37 percent. The spread here is 26. So it's, uh, it's a closer ratio shift. That gives you the almost 13 speed like uh, split in the top gear. So the engine's going to bounce back and forth between uh, ninth and tenth gear 
quite liberally when you're in those kinds of roads. That gives you direct drive in ninth gear and a 0.79 overdrive in the top gear. So it's all set up for fuel efficiency. If the engine can toggle back and forth between ninth and tenth, you're still in two very fuel efficient gear ranges. Of course, all that fuel efficient low end torque won't do you any good at all if the transmission keeps downshifting to a lower gear. Based on what I experienced, it's very obvious that Eaton and Kenworth spent a lot of time working on this. The Advantage transmission hangs on to the last possible moment before downshifting, making full use of the engine's broad torque curve. Okay, we're coming into a little 25 mile an hour S turn here. It's kind of sharp, so I'm going to slow right down to 25. Last time through here, we made the uh, come out of the turn at 900 RPM. I'm at 25 now going through this turn, which is a bit slow uh, for the corner, but I'm at 1,000 RPM and starting to accelerate through the turn toward the other side of it here. Now I'm up to 12 at 35, going into the left turn side of the S turn here. 1100 RPM, pulling a slight grade, and the engine staying there. Some engines, some transmissions would have shifted here at this point by now, but this one's holding on and uh, letting me pull the, uh, pull the hill using the torque rather than a gear change. And it works the same way on hills. Got to like it when it shifts, up shifts at uh, 1450 and drops down to 10 when it's climbing a hill. That's really cool. That's, uh, that's ambitious for an automated transmission. Kind of like that performance. If there's a downside to low engine speed, it's the engine brake performance. Compression brakes just don't work that well at low engine speed. However, Eaton and Kenworth have made efforts to solve this as well. They'll let the engine revs climb pretty high when it's needed. Now at this RPM, you don't really have much to play with as far as the engine brake is concerned. Uh, the RPM is pretty low, so it doesn't work all that well, but all I have to do is hit the downshift button on the shifter, and she pops up uh, a full gear, takes me up to uh, 1400, <clears throat> which is a better engine speed for braking. If I wanted to, I could hit it again, and that would take me up to 1900. So we got uh, a, a two shift range there in one gear if we needed a little bit more retarding power from the engine brake. That's really useful to have. If you need to bump it up to a higher RPM real quick, you've got it. The powertrain offered in the Advantage edition of Kenworth T680 gives us the best of a couple of worlds. The MX-13 engine is a lightweight, fuel-efficient 12.9-liter block and it's coupled to the lightest automated transmission in the Eaton portfolio. The 10-speed gearbox is mechanically less complex than a 13-speed and it offers a good RPM range between the lower gears. The tighter spread between 9th and 10th in this transmission is successful for the most part at keeping the engine in its highway cruise speed fuel economy sweet spot as much as possible. There are two other videos in this road test series, one's a quick walk around of the T680 Advantage and the other's an overview of the truck itself. Make sure you check out those videos as well. From Chillicothe, Ohio, I'm Jim Park for today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive Series. Drive safe and keep your revs down.